phonetic. Hey, here. What's good with y'all? It's your boy TKK Game for that. Michael Jordan Game. And I just want to show y'all something real quick. So, right now, I'm using my DSLR camera. Hold on. Get it a little bit. Get it in focus. So, this is the gameplay from PlayStation Underground. Uh, of God of War, the new God of War is coming out soon. So if you notice anything different from the playback, is that it is moving at 60 FPS on the playback you're looking at right now. And this is what we would have gotten if Sony would focus more on frame rate instead of visuals, or if the game was a PC game as well. But unfortunately, it's a PlayStation exclusive. Sony is not going to let that go to PC. But this is what we would have gotten if Sony would have focused more on frame rate or if it was on PC. So unfortunately, what we get though is this here. So this is what we're gonna get when we get the PlayStation um, and everything. Even if you have the Pro, you will get this frame rate here. So, bam. So this is how the game is gonna move unfortunately for us when we get it. So the game is gonna be locked 30 FPS. Uh, because of they're trying to go visual instead of uh, you know performance and that's the problem with all these consoles um, so the way I made it 60 FPS is for the guys who don't have high-end TVs or smart TVs um, pretty much uh, a lot of the smart TVs like Samsung LG um, Sony they have what's called um, motion control or it's called true motion on LG I think Samsung is called like smart motion or something I can't remember um, and Sony has it. I forgot what theirs is called. Um, and even Sharp and stuff would have them. You know, Sharp doesn't make TVs anymore. But pretty much what it does is it doubles the frame rate on the television to make images move smoother and cleaner. Um, so you actually see more detail and stuff when you're watching movies um, than you would if it was uh, just running at 30 or 24 by, what was it, 24.4 FPS, which was most movies run at. So you see a little bit more detail, the image looks sharper when it's running at 60 FPS. So that's what I did <coughs> to make the image run at 60 FPS. Um, and you, you can see, man, it's night and day. Now I'm not sure how this audio sounds, and I am using my DSLR camera. I don't have my mic plugged in. I should have plugged my mic in and put it towards my face. So this could have just been a, a better sounding, you know, commentary because I know you hear the video in the background as well. But there's with true motion on. Look at that. It's night and day. It's night and day. Just looks much better, <laughs> you know, um, running at 60 FPS. But unfortunately, again, this is not what we're going to get when we get the products because the PS4 Pro version, even with that, is going to be locked at 30 FPS because they're focusing more on visuals than gameplay uh, performance. Unless they put a mode, a 1080p mode in there, let's wish for that. If they put a 1080p mode and a high, um, what is it? A, um, they have those three modes. It'll be like high res mode, which is like 1800p or 4, 4K, which I think is gonna be like 1800p or so. Um, then you have the, the regular 1080p mode, and then you have the one where they have like all the graphics maxed out <laughs> um, mode for 1080p. Now, if they have those different selections, we're going to be good. We'll be able to play the game at 60 FPS. I just think it looks cleaner at 60 FPS. Unfortunately, we can't do it at 4K. I mean, the consoles can't do that. But what I'm hoping is next generation, um, the console developers will focus more on the frame rate. They started a little bit this year, but then they started losing their way when they want to start pushing this 4K thing, especially since the Xbox One X came out. But uh, hopefully, they start pushing more of uh, performance than you know resolution so we can get games that run cleaner and smooth look at that look at that that just looks so good but anyway it's your boy tick aka game fanatic the michael jordan the gaming hopefully this sounds pretty decent at least and i'm gone bye